Have you ever spent your day in a blah mood? I'm sure you have. We all have our blah days. The days when you're feeling stuck, when you're feeling low, and nothing is exciting around you. All you really need at this time is a bit of inspiration to get that spring back in your step. Picasso said, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. It means that you have to work towards creating your own inspiration so that you can go to it every single day or whenever you need it. So in order for you to be inspired, what I did is put together a couple of things that inspires me and I'm sure you have many more. I would love to hear from you as to what inspires you and how you can get your spring back into your step. So in order for me to inspire myself, there are a couple of things I surround myself with. I have quotes in my room, I have quotes on my laptop, on my mobile wallpaper. There are many, many ways by which you can get quotes into your life. But one of the beautiful uh, app that actually helps me in this is Pinterest. So creating a board on Pinterest and putting in every single quote that you love is an easy way, you know, whenever you need a dose of inspiration, just go to Pinterest and check out your uh, board and or check out the boards with the same common interest and there are so many over there. Pinterest is an amazing uh, tool for you to use if you need, whenever you need your dose of inspiration. Right from my childhood days, I, I was a vociferous reader, I was a bookworm. I say was because I am not right now. I have limited time and for me to read a book is like a challenge. So that's one of the challenges that I've accepted this year. But here are my top three books that I swear by. The Alchemist inspires me to dream and follow my dreams. At the same time, be prepared for the risks. The Power of Now inspired me to believe in the present moment because nothing ever happened in the past and nothing will happen in future. So what's the point in dwelling on it? The magic of thinking big inspired me to think success and not failure. The mantra here is to believe in yourself and that inspires me a great deal. Death is amazing that you have one for every mood. It also inspires you, it also gives you a lot of information and you know that these icons who speak on TED stage have years of experience and they come in their field of expertise so there's so much to learn at the same time be inspired to do something like that so TED is my natural inspiration there's also Josh talks in India you know there was a time when I used to be in a car commuting to work and back and that is the time when I used to really scream my lungs out inside the car so no one is hearing it. I used to look forward to that drive because it used to inspire me so much. Um, absolutely mood buster. It changes my mood the moment I listen to my favorite music. And so I do surround myself with music and music is a great way to get inspired. So maybe you can get yourself a playlist specifically for moods. When you're sad, when you're happy, when you're, you know, want to be inspired, get a playlist. Spending time with your children or your pets is another way to get yourself inspired. Time spent with him is absolutely stress-free unless of course we are studying uh, and I don't count that here. Just looking at the world through their eyes and understanding how they perceive the world is amazing. And uh, if you spend time with your children or if you do not have to spend time with your neighbor's children or even pets, you know, spending time with my cat is amazing. talking to friends, your anchor, someone who listens to you, understands you, doesn't pass any judgment and doesn't advise you in what you need to do but just there listening to you. Now if you're having a friend like that it's amazing, latch on to them with, your, with all your life because they are the people who will be there always to inspire you. If you don't have such friend then you can go to your mentor or you can actually hire a coach because coaches like myself also do that we uh, have to be unbiased and absolutely non-judgmental and just listen so we'll be there for you
enjoy a walk, sit with the plants, go out there to park or just breathe in fresh air. That's another way of calming yourself, relaxing, maybe probably even reflecting as you're taking that walk and you will be able to instantly get yourself out of that kind of a blah mood. So there you go, those are a couple of things that inspire me and this is not an exhaustive list uh, because uh, there are many many other things that I haven't even talked about. There are other things that can inspire you in a different way, for example there's travel, there is um, cooking for few people, uh, not for me, uh, then I'm sure you are having your own list of things that inspires you. Now, if you don't have such a list, and I suggest you make such a list because it's easier to look at it when you are really feeling down. And having inspiration around you and being inspired all the time is an amazing way to live your life. If you have any other uh, ideas, inspiration ideas I mean, do let me know. Uh, I would love to, you know, if I, if I find that interesting, I would love to do it myself as well. So uh, please leave them in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I am on. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel, subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next week, bye.